So this really sucks because a part of Naruto, you know, we never got to really see Neji's full potential. And he was one of the people who deserved true happiness, let's be honest. Neji uh, died too early, but, you know, it was really because the creator Naruto stated it was essential to bring forth a catalyst to Naruto and Hinata's relationship. You know how Neji was always protecting her. Now, he left it up to Naruto, please take care of Hinata and all that. I get it, but it was barely much, like, much of a scene to, like, you know make an impact of, oh, their relationship is closer, barely, like, I guess that's why they did it with the movie, but I would prefer with Neji still be alive in there to witness this, like, I would have loved Neji to see Boruto and Himawari, I would have loved to see Neji change his clan and see how much it's changed and got better, I would have loved to see Neji witness Naruto become a Kokage, I would have loved to see, you know, possibly the potential of Neji and Tenten getting together if it wasn't rock from all the theories of uh, her being Medali's mother, but who knows. And also, I would have loved to see a lot of other things, and I'm pretty sure Neji should have been here to, you know, be able to witness all of those great things. And I feel like he didn't really deserve to go out that way, because we never, there are a lot of things we never got to see, like Neji and Lee fight, like, you know, the conclusion of their fight. But it's really a, a mystery to me. Like, like I, I'm guessing everybody would prefer to see him like uh alive and to the end of naruto but you know he was used as a catalyst and excuse me if you hear rain in the background there's nothing i can do about that but let me know what you think of this video give me a like comment subscribe share the video and i will see you next time